Hey guys, so I'm starting out with the NYX Angel Veil Primer just to prime my skin and then I'm going in with the Dior Forever Foundation which is an oldie but a goodie. I actually really love this foundation. I forget how much I love it until I wear it again. Um, so I'm just blending it out using this Thin Lizzy sponge. It's not my favourite sponge but it did the job. Then moving on to the eyes, I'm just priming using Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral and just using the little end of the sponge to blend it. Then I just took some of the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer Powder and just set my eyelids down with that. And then I dipped into the Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia and I am using this shade just to kind of add as a transition to my eyelids. Then I'm going in with the shade below, I think it's called Orange Soda, maybe. And I'm just doing the exact same thing, just blending it into the crease. Then I'm taking the shade Rustic on an E25 from Sigma and I'm just building this up in the outer corner and through the crease. And then dipping into the shade Sienna, I'm just doing the same thing, just to really build up the browns. And you may notice that the eyes are a little bit uneven. For some reason, my right eye, I didn't blend it high enough, but what can you do? I'm taking the shade Mulberry, which is this beautiful, like, burgundy, deep, reddy brown, and doing the same thing, building up the outer corner, and then slowly bringing it through the crease. And then just taking my E40 again to make sure my edges were blended. Then I'm taking the shade Noir, which is the black, on an E44, and just starting to lightly buff this into the outer corner. And this is where I stuffed up with my eye shapes. Ugh. I hate when I notice that after I've finished filming, but what can you do? Nothing now. Then I'm picking up the shade Sultry on my finger. It's such a beautiful, like, taupey, purpley shade. And I'm applying it to my lid. And then I'm taking the shade Bronze, which is also a beautiful colour, and putting this more on the inner corner. Then I'm just taking a black liner and tight lining and doing like a messy kind of line along my upper lash line. Then for mascara I use the Benefit Bad Girl Bang and then for lashes I use the Ardell Faux Mink Wispy Lashes. Then moving back onto the face, I am concealing again with the Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte. I'm just popping this under the eyes and then down the center of my face as a highlight. And I'm using the Sigma F87 brush to blend it all out and then swapping over to my sponge to blend those edges. Then I use this little sample I had of an hourglass powder. I just use that to pretty much set all of those concealed areas. And I don't know, I liked it but it was nothing special so yeah, I don't know. Then I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Contour Powder in Bad Habit on an F05 contour brush. And I'm just contouring my cheekbones and adding some bronziness around the perimeters of my face. And once again, taking my sponge when I need to blend the edges. Then for blush, I took MAC Warm Soul and just applied that with an F37 brush from Sigma. And then to highlight, I used the Anastasia Sun Dipped Palette with the Anastasia Highlighter Brush. And I used the shade Moonstone. Then I set everything down using the Algenist Splash Setting Spray. And then moving on to the lower lash line, I took the shade Sienna again on an E25 and buffed that underneath the lower lash line. And then I went in with Mulberry and did the same thing but with the E44. And then I'm taking the black once again and doing the same thing. Then I took that sultry shade on my pinky and just put that in the middle of the lower lash line. And then I took the shade bronze on the pinky as well and put that in the inner corner of the lower lash line. And then finally, I mix these two shades together. They're Tempura and Fancy, Fairy, I think. And they highlighted my inner corners. And then for lips, I am lining them using a Rimmel Lip Liner in Call Me Crazy. And then for the lipstick, I'm using the Joseph Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Coral Crush, which is one of my favorite coral red lips. And that completed the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.